has Jesus received you as his sinner? I thought I read that right. Yeah. Has Jesus received you as his sinner? See what the scriptures have to say. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 through 17 says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. There are no church buildings in the New Testament. If you go to church, you aren't part of the New Testament body of believers. Sorry, but you're not. And if you're especially you're going and you're celebrating and fellowshipping with lost people. That's a big issue. But look at verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Jesus will receive you. I thought you were supposed to receive Jesus as your Savior. Well, you are. But what is God's part towards you? Jesus will receive you. How? If you come out from among them, you have to leave the world, the lost world. You have to be ye separate, saith the Lord. Not saith the Apostle Paul, the Apostle Peter, or John, James, Brian Denlinger, or any. No. Saith the Lord. Be ye separate. True Bible-believing Christianity is separation from the lost. Is what it is. And the Lord will receive you. And touch not the unclean thing, by the way. Next, go to 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 15. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 15. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Huh. Jesus came to save what? Sinners. Interesting. So, has Jesus received you as his sinner? He came here to save sinners, didn't he? He says, come out from among the lost world and I will receive you, sinner. He say, it sounds like you're implying that you become his personal property. That's exactly it. Matthew chapter 11. Matthew chapter 11 Verse 28 through 30. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Well, that sounds pleasant, doesn't it? Gives you a pillow and a place to sleep. Keep reading. No, he keep reading. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He purchases you. Bond servant, he buys you with the blood that he shed on the cross. So I'll ask the question one more time. Has Jesus received you as his sinner? I certainly hope so. Because if he hasn't, you're lost. You're on your way to hell. You can believe in Jesus all day long. You can say that I've made mental decisions about believing things that are written in the Bible and whatever else. But the fact of the matter is, um, it's by grace through faith. Faith is your part. Grace is God's part. God has to look down in His grace and say, you know what? Yeah. Okay, they meet my qualifications. I'll save them. I will receive you, sinner, and I'll put my yoke upon you and tell you, Separate yourself from this world. Touch not the unclean thing. I'll make your life different than the lost world out there. You'll be my bond servant. And if you get out of line, I have the right to kill you. Or beat you, chasing you. I hope that that's the Jesus that you serve because that's the Jesus of the King James Bible. You better think about that. 